Uh, the LA Kings play the Predators tomorrow. And then it's the NHL All-Star break. So it's good. See, it's going to be a good thing for the LA Kings that they will need this much needed time off between now and February 10th. And the NHL All-Star game's coming up. But, but for the, uh, For the NBA, um, oh yeah, coming coming up in April, we're gonna get another solar e eclipse. In on April eighth, we're gonna get another eclipse. Yeah, it will be a total eclipse. The red line will show the so, so total eclipse. And uh, so the direct path is going to go over Texas and uh, Chicago and yeah, you know, Dallas, Cleveland, Indianapolis, Vermont, along with Buffalo and Rochester and Syracuse are going to get the brunt of the eclipse. But, um, yeah, the eclipse should be visible here in Southern California. And, uh, uh yeah. And also, uh, it was another warm day today. It was 75 degrees here in Los Angeles after a couple of 80 degree days, but then it's gonna be noticeably cooler tomorrow. And um, then the rain's gonna come as we say hello to February. Meanwhile, uh, the Knicks have won their eighth game in a row by beating the Utah Jazz, 118 to 103. And they close out January with the 14 and two record, which was like one of the best monthly NBA records by the New York Knicks in like 30 years. Uh, John Collins did have a double-double with four, 11 points and 11 rebounds. And for the uh, New York Knickerbockers, Josh Hart had a perfect 10 triple-double with 10 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Meanwhile, uh, Jalen Brunson had 29 points, and Dante had 33 points. Uh, Julius Randle, despite his injury, the Knicks have been playing really well. And uh, yes, the Knicks have currently the longest winning streak in the NBA, and now they're the number three seed in the East, trailing the Bucks by a game and a half. And of course, we all know too well about Boston that they're the best record in the NBA, as they beat the uh, Indiana Pacers 129-124. Um, Aaron Nesmith had 26 points and 12 rebounds. Pascal Siakam had 23. Hallie Burton had 13 points and 10 assists. Miles Turner only had 17 points. But yeah. Um, but unfortunately, the Celtics were just better. Jason Tatum had 30. Jalen Brown had 25. Porzingis had 17 points and 12 assists. And Derek White had 24 points. And, uh, and the Raptors beat the Bulls 118 to 107. And yeah, the LA Lakers have been struggling on defense, especially. For the past five games, they have averaged about 135 points allowed, which isn't going to get it done. I mean, LeBron had a rebound shy of a double-double, but had 20 points. But Austin Reeves came back and scored 28 points. Hachimura had 16, and Anthony Davis had to take the night off. Meanwhile, Trey Young had 26 points and 13 assists. Jalen Johnson had 11 rebounds, and DeJounte Murray had 24 points and 9 assists. And... Um, yeah, the Lakers are a game under 500, and things are not looking good for the Lakers going into t 
February as they have to take on the Celtics, who had the best record in the NBA. And uh, finally, the Warriors beat the Sixers 119-107, ending a two-game losing streak. Joel Embiid only had 14 points tonight. Tobias Harris had 26 points and 10 rebounds. And, uh, and for the Warriors... Steph had 37 points after that 46-point effort on Saturday. Meanwhile, Andrew Wiggins had 23. Kuminga had 26. And Kavon Looney had three rebounds. And um, and yeah, the Celtics still have the best record in the NBA right now. They're 22-2 and at home. They have a four and a half game lead over the Bucks. The Knicks are in third. And yeah, the Sixers have dropped to the fifth seed already. And the Pacers are down in the sixth seed. And Miami, which has lost seven in a row, are in the seventh seed. So they're tied with the Magic. So that means they'll have to go to the play-in tournament at the season ended today. And both the Bulls and the Hawks are in the play-in. Meanwhile, out west... The Timberwolves have a half game lead over the Nuggets. The Thunder have lost two in a row, so now they're the three seed. The Clippers are the four seed at the moment. Sacramento's the fifth seed. The Suns are in the sixth, so that means the Mavericks and Pelicans would, are in the play, and same with the Lakers and the Jazz. Meanwhile, the Rockets are just a half, they're just a half game out. And the Warriors are still in the 12th seed right now. So, so we'll see what happens. And um, that's it. But seriously, the Lakers really have to turn things around. But um, I know that Darvin Ham had a really good career as an assistant coach, but I don't think he's a good head coach, though. But I hope that we'll, we'll sign a good coach, I think, in the offseason if Ham gets fired and see if we can try to uh, get a, some good defense and some three-point shooters. And All right. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.